Um, you know, you hear very frequently people say things like everyone's creative. It's like, that's wrong, okay? It's wrong. It's just as wrong as saying that everyone's extroverted. First of all, you have to be pretty damn smart to be creative because otherwise you're just going to get to where other people have already got and that's not creative by definition. So, so being fast and being out there at the front of things really makes a difference and then you also have to have these divergent thinking capabilities and that's part of your trait structure. And creative people are really different than non-creative people. You know, partly because, for example, they're highly motivated to do creative things and to experience novelty and to, and, to, and to chase down aesthetic experiences and to attend movies and to read fiction and to go to museums and to enjoy poetry and, and, and to enjoy music that's not conventional music, for example. These aren't trivial differences. And so, and so it's, a real, it's a real misstatement to make the proposition that everyone's creative. It's just simply not the case. It's a matter of wishful thinking. It's like saying that everyone's intelligent. It's like, well, if everyone's intelligent, then the, the term loses all of its meaning. Because any term that you can apply to every member of a category has absolutely no meaning. Now, uh, creative people have always been strange to normal people. Uh, and also, um, creative, creative people don't like uh, regular normal people. You know, so it's kind of like uh, a battle between you know, people who see the world a certain way and people who are stuck in the mundane world because uh, you know throughout my life I've always noticed that people who are like artistic people who like to paint people who like music um, people who are into acting uh, people who are into like veganism uh, people who like uh, wear their hair a certain way you know where they're natural uh, they may have dreadlocks or People who wear certain clothing, like African clothes, or even uh, people who are into like the gothic thing, the emo thing, uh, or whatever, you know, anything that's outside, uh, quote unquote, the norm, you know, they've always been like, seem strange to normal people or the normies, you know, and, uh, and I think uh, most people associate that as a negative. But in reality, creativity is a virtue. Uh, you know, if you, uh, I, when I say creativity, I'm, not, I'm just I'm I'm not just talking about like people who you know they know how to play an instrument, or they may like be good in playing the cello, or they may be a good artist. I mean, the whole gamut. You know, I'm talking about people who have like a different way of looking at the world. You know, people who see the world, you know, they can see through the matrix, you know, quote unquote, you know, compared to like norm normies who like go to work every day. You know, they don't question authority. You know, they just accept whatever the media tells them to like, you know, and uh, I think uh, a lot of people. Nor normies, they look at they they look down on people who are different as oh something wrong with them you know they're not um you know rank and file like the rest of us you know and I and I believe that I believe creativity is a virtue with the simple fact that you know if creative if creative people didn't exist that people didn't think differently. You know, we will still be uh, living in caves. We will still be living in the forest, uh, still living in the, in the jungle. You know, there will be no human progress if people didn't think differently compared to the herd. You know, and it's been unfortunate that in, in this late in, this late in history, you got you know 2019 going on 2020. You know, we still have this. Uh, you know, I call it like uh, the nerds, the nerds versus the jocks, or whatever you want to call it. You know, and uh, you know it's, it's kind of unfortunate because you think of all the stuff we've been exposed to in this uh, late time of history. You know, you have the internet, TV, or whatever. You know, what I'm saying whatever medium of entertainment, uh, media, whatever you want to call it that we're exposed to, people still have this narrow. People are still narrow minded. You know, and I and I see that a lot because you still got a lot of people. If they on they're on the internet, but they just on social media. You know, they they don't research things. They don't Google stuff. They don't go on Wikipedia. And uh, I remember one time, uh, somebody on 
on Facebook posted something that that had me laughing. I can't find it because it was like months ago. But uh, some some random person on Facebook talking about she basically said that uh, it, it's like people don't, don't know what Google is after all this time, <laughs> you know, because it's just like people exposed to the internet, but you still got a lot of people they still believe CNN for some odd reason, you know. It's just like I guess they stuck in that baby boomer mentality in that world because you got all this information at your fingertips. You know, you can go on YouTube and look look up the conspiracy videos and go on Wikipedia. They got all the information there. I'm not saying I'm not saying Wikipedia is a uh, hundred percent truthful, but I'm just saying in general, you know, there's no excuse to be ignorant in this day and time. But you still got people, they still believe Don they still believe Don Lemon, they still believe Anderson Cooper. And <laughs> you know, I don't know why that is, you know. You, you still got people that uh that you know they just you got all this good music out out here. They still listening listening to Beyonce like she shit, like she's the ultimate. They still listening to uh, Kelly Clarkson and Molly Cyrus, but you got all this good music that's free and available. They still listen listening to like crap. But <laughs> but I like I digress. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, but uh, creativity is a virtue. Uh, seeing seeing the world differently and unique in your own unique way is a virtue. Having your own style and aesthetic is a virtue. It's it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. That means you're a, you're a warm blooded mammal, <laughs> a warm blooded whole human being. You know you know what I'm saying you're well rounded. You know you know what I'm saying. But you got the rest of the population. They just sheep. You know they just conform to what's around them. You know they don't worry to question anything. You know, and uh, and I suggest that uh, when you go on the internet, look up the NPC meme. If you're not familiar with the NPC meme, uh, NPC stands for non-player character, which uh, symbolizes like you. It's like whenever you play a video game, you know, like you know how you you're controlling the character, but in the background, you have like all these villains in the background or minor characters in a video game that you can't control. They're kind of like automatic. You know, saying that's the NPC. You know, they have no agency of their own. You know, saying they just run on automatic, and uh, that's pretty much what the majority of the population are like. You know, they just run on automatic, and uh, and there's and there's also like uh, the five percent doctrine. You know, what I'm saying where there's like um, you know, they say like eight to five percent of the population is deaf, deaf, dumb, and deaf, dumb, and blind. You got the 10% who are the elite, and then you got the 5% who are like quote unquote woke or awake or red pilled or whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty much how society is. It's, just, it's like people who, who know the deal, they know the world is fucked up. Uh, the minority who are like very creative, artistic, um, they see the world in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? They make up maybe like 5% of the population. You got the 10% who are the elite who are keeping... I won't say the elite, but you know, like they know the truth, but they're trying to hide it from the rest of the 85%. So that's pretty much uh, the 5% doctrine if you're not familiar with that. You know what I'm saying? Just look that up. Uh, but anyway, I digress on that. <laughs> but anyway, but you know, creativity is a virtue, you know. You know, it's a positive, and it, and it should not be looked down upon. So, and that's, and I think that's the reason why, I like a lot of uh, kids, and teenagers, and early early adults, rebel against society. They hate society because they were rejected, or they were picked on, or they were bullied by the normies. So when they get older, they want to like destroy the fabric of society. So they want to be socialist, communist, or whatever. But uh, I mean, that's I, pretty much my opinion. I'm not gonna ran ran off for too long. But anyway, I just wanted to like, you know, share my opinion on that. You know what I'm saying? So, so always remember that creativity is a positive. It's ne it's never never a negative. Being different is a positive. It's not a negative. You know, having your own style is a positive. It's not a negative. And uh, that's all I got to say for that but uh everybody just uh be safe uh take care and just uh meditate on that all right peace out
horses in the spirit go round Is it me? What do we have to do to cope when things ain't easy? Cause the same things that hurt me be the same things that please me I reach for the sun and I give thanks for a change season Water, earth, wind and fire, so many reasons To build up my strength to shake you Off in an instant figure All falling victim to this southern draw sentence by Race through your speaker set you Won't let you won't get it when it hits the fan You quick to see the same thing different flipping Talk less and listen more To learn about this physical Some parables, some orthodox But other lines are typical With all this going on If you still hate then that is pitiful and